Good evening, ladies and gentlemen in Grand Colony in Nigeria. You are hearing the voice of the elder statesperson, Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Agbuchino, coming away this day, the 21st of June, 2024. I am moved to uh, respond to the reactions that are flying here and there over the movement of uh, Temitoko Balogu to uh, CDHR, Committee for the Defense of uh, Human Rights, concerning Apostle Professor Dr. Ambassador uh, Chief Ken Wakam. Why are you people disturbed over that? Why are people getting mad over the movement of Temitepe Balogu to uh, human rights? Why are they disturbed? Tell me your reason. Do you know why Temitepe Balogu has gone to human rights. He has gone there so that they might invite Ken Wakama for questioning and verification. He is a subscriber to this grant and she has paid money. And she, as she has paid money, she is no longer comfortable with the way things are going. And if you heard her very well, she said that she is no longer comfortable with Ken Wakama. That this money that Ken Wakama says he has, she doesn't believe that he has it to give to him and uh, to give to her and she has subscribed and if at all she has this money she should come and prove to her what is bad there what is bad there there are so many people are coming up to the platform to cause her to raise abuses on her you people that are coming up to cause her and to raise abuses on her, are you in your right senses? The money she used for subscription, were you the one who gave it to her? Were you the one who gave it to her? You say the government is involved. She doesn't believe that the government is involved. She doesn't believe it. If you are aware of what is going on, she is not aware. She is not convinced. And she wants to be convinced. And you are coming to cause her. Will your causes work? Cause costless shall not come. Cause costless shall not come. Somebody has paid money and she had been promised that so 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 time this movement would happen as far back as about one year back and the one of december uh, that came one come out even said that if december had one more week there would be this movement. this that the woman is not convinced and she wants to know even if you know even if you know you are limited to your own conviction. She says she is not convinced. She wants to know if you have this grant to give, come and show me. I want to be convinced. That is all. And you are raining abuses on her. And you people are saying, oh, this disbursement is about to happen and the government is aware of this. However, if the government is aware of this, it makes the case better for Ken Wakama. 
if they call Ken Wakamadia, even the the, 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 the document that she is looking for, Ken Wakama will say, okay, oh, this grant doesn't need the document. Like some of you that are saying, what is the woman doing with the document? The woman is not doing anything with the document. He want, she wants the document to prove to her that what she subscribed for is there. That is all. If Ken Wakama goes there, then she will say, okay, he, he might say, okay, this grant does not need document. And the government has moved in. Then they will now say, okay, go and bring the government representative. If he brings the government representative and the government representative say, we are in charge, case closed. How does this disturb disbursement? How does this dis disturb disbursement? You are saying the government committee is in control. It's not the government committee that this woman petitioned. The woman petitioned Ken Wakama. And the petitioning of the Ken Wakama does not stop the activities of the government committee. That is why some of, that is what this some of these people don't know. Or will human rights committee for the defense of human rights will they issue an injunction that what the human what the the, the, the government committee is doing? Let them hold on yet. Let us finish what that. Are they going to tell the committee like that? Are they going to tell the committee like that? Even if Ken Wakama is jailed. Ken Wakama is just an individual amongst the members of the committee. The work in the committee can still go on. If the work is actually there, the way you are talking about it. If the work is there. Inviting Ken Wakama, what does it have to do on the government committee? They will not issue an injunction, an interim injunction, that a uh, 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 government committee don't meet yet. Will then the human rights say something like that? Ogami, okay, let us be well informed. Uh, this moment will happen tomorrow. This moment will happen today. This moment will happen uh, next tomorrow. The woman is tired of it. She does not believe it. She says she does not believe it. And if the money is there, the going to the human rights will this stop the money from being, being disbursed? It does not stop the money from being disbursed. It does not. Some people might say, what about it, you? Theo was arrested on the very day of the flag off of his disbursement. So many people, they went ahead causing all grand pressure group that uh, they have disturbed disbursement, they have disturbed the disbursement. But all grand pressure group, they knew what they were doing. They knew that Tio did not have the money. That Tio was playing games. They knew. But he didn't appeal to any one of us, including myself. By that time, I was a staunch follower of Tio. And I was against all grand pressure group. To the extent that I went and I filed a petition against them. But God knew that they were fighting a just cause. That petition did not fly. That petition did not fly. Now, if the arrest of Tio on the 24th of June last year disturbed the disbursement of Tio, now they have released Tio from detention some three days ahead now it will become one year exactly that you wanted to disburse before he was arrested before he was arrested 
If the arrest was a disturbance to the disbursement, what has happened? That the disbursement has not happened up to now. Those of you that are cursing Temi Tokwe Balogu, I return the curses upon your head. I return the curses upon your head because you don't have any reason. Even if the disbursement is going to happen, she paid her money and she's fighting on her own. Did she tell you to contribute money for her to fight? If you are aware of the government committee, she is not aware. She is not aware. This boy is not to have given now. If Temi Tokwe Balogu has time and uh, she takes you by this your voice note, do you have any defense? If she, so, if she shows proof of her payment to Ken Wakama and it's okay, she has been kept aloof, she doesn't know what is happening and she expresses herself, what will be your defense? Are you not being ignorant? Are you not displaying illiteracy by the way you are talking? For information, taking Ken one camera before the human rights does not disturb any disbursement process. If the disbursement is there at all, because the human rights will not issue any interim injunction for the activities to stop. No. They will not do that. They don't have the power to do that. They don't have the powers to do that. They don't have the powers to do that. And that will not happen. So what is the meaning of the causes you are raining on this woman? Do you know that you are being an ignorant person? Do you know that you are being an illiterate person by saying all those things? I stand here and now to tell you that what the woman has done does not disturb anything. It does not disturb the disbursement process. Like some of you are saying, if anything happened to the disbursement, you are thinking in line with your brain domain. You can't reason well. The going to human rights does not spoil anything. And moreover, since you have said that the government is involved, it's the government that approved the NGO of the human rights, the committee for the development of human rights is the government that approved that. So if the government agents has come and said, okay, oh, this thing that we are talking about, it does not need any document. We have rationalized issues. And in a few days, we are going to pay. Case closed. Case closed. So for your information, I would like you to tread with caution. Those of you that are speaking anyhow, insulting this woman who is fighting for her right. She is fighting for her right. That was why she went to human rights. Some of you are saying, why didn't she go to ESCC? I don't want to direct her where to go. I don't want to direct her where to go. You are not the one to direct her where to go. Speak in a way that they would that they would think that you have something upstairs. The way some of you are speaking, I am ashamed of you. You are not showing knowledge at all. You are not showing knowledge at all. This woman does not know what is going on. She is tired and she wants explanations. It's explanations she's looking for. If she goes to human rights. And Ken comes and explains things to her satisfaction. Case closed. And if the case is satisfactory at the human right, and the woman does not want to understand, the human right will not go ahead. The woman right will not go ahead with her. The human right, if Ken comes and explains everything, and it becomes clear, to the human rights committee and the woman still does not want to understand the human rights committee has said okay if you like you can go to court on your own but if the explanation of Ken is not satisfactory the human rights will take it up from there why are you crying more than the degree let Ken go there and explain himself Ken should go there and explain himself that does not stop the disbursement process. 
that you claim that it is there. Me, I don't believe it. But as a father, when people are going astray with the way they are talking, I need to come and clear the air. But the way I have spoken, it is clear for every right thinking individual. But there are some people who are there who may come out to begin to insult you. If you come to insult me, no problem. I will not, I will not answer you. I have done what I am supposed to do as an elder. Ken, going to the human right does not stop anything for your information. Ken is not the only person handling this thing according to you people. According to you people, there are members of the, of the government committee that I know. And Ken is not the one spearheading it. He's a member of that committee. And he is the one that they have invited. Why will it why will he stop the movement of what the government committee is doing? Good evening.